You might have heard of a program called Affinity Photo, and in this video I'm going to show you three reasons why I love Affinity Photo. This is how it looks when you open it up. I've just got a basic picture here. Three reasons why I love Affinity Photo, and you should too. If you've never heard of Affinity before, they're, they're run by Microsoft, and it's pretty neat. I'm just going to play their little promo video here, and it's you know, a great imaging software for professionals, amateurs, and it's basically like Photoshop, but it's a, you know, photo editing software. So if you've heard of Photoshop, you know that you can use it to modify files, you can change colors, you can add things to it, you can basically modify a picture, and so you can remove, add, clip, all the things that normally Photoshop would do. So it's very similar to Photoshop in its use. However, you can obviously look, you know, take a look at this video. I mean, it's a marketing video. It's pretty spectacular, right? So there's a lot of things you can do with Affinity Photo. So that's number one. The number one reason I like this is because if you've used Photoshop in the past, this is very intuitive for Photoshop users. Now, if you've never used Photoshop in the past, it's also very intuitive. It's layers, it's things that you can use that seem to be intuitive because they've built it over the last you know, few years based on what Photoshop has done. Here's just a quick example of the ease of use. You've got menus at the top, okay? And then you've got menus underneath it, and then you've got menus along the left. It's very, very similar to the look and feel of Photoshop. So for example, you could just do layer, invert, and that would just invert the layer. So just very easy to use. You could add a layer to it here. You can, you know, do layer masks, adjustments, filters. You can group the layers. It's very, very similar to Photoshop, which I love. There's opacity, there's adjustments. There's a number of different things that you can do here that really have the look and feel of a Photoshop, which is really nice. You can see here all the different things you can edit, you can merge. There's unlimited layers, which is nice. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. And I did want to point out the second thing that I really like about this is that you buy it once and you're done. One of the things that really irritates me about Photoshop is Photoshop now has subscription only. And so you can't just buy Photoshop once. It used to be like a few hundred dollars. It was quite an investment, but you'd buy it and it was like, okay, now I've got Photoshop for the rest of my life. You'd hold on to it like a you know, family heirloom because you could never lose the Photoshop in the old days CD-ROM. But now Photoshop sells a subscription service. So it's like once you lose the subscription, you lose your software. So you're continually paying Photoshop. That's really irritating to me. So with Affinity Photo, you just purchase it once and you own it now forever. That's amazing. No subscription. The third reason I really like Affinity Photo is right now it's 50% off. I do want to point out this is not an affiliate. I get nothing from this. I just wanted to point this out because I've purchased Affinity Photo with 50% off. I have been using it. I love it. I've been using it now for about a year. And again, I'm still learning how to use it because there's so many features. But the basics of it took me like one day. And now I'm able to you know, do basic designs, good enough for t-shirts, good enough for apparel, that kind of thing. So you can buy it for 50% off. I'm in Canada, so here it's Canadian $34.99 on Windows. It also works on a Mac. It also works for an iP on an iPad. So it's only $14 if you're on an iPad. Again, I'm in Canada, so your price might vary a little tiny bit, but it's a very good price. You buy it once and you're done. So I just wanted to do a quick overview of this. Now I do want to point out this 50% off is ending very soon. I believe it's ending on June the 30th. So at the time of this recording, there's a couple days left if you're interested in purchasing it. And if not, no worries. You can always just Google Affinity Photo and you can see what comes up. But if there's a couple different types of Affinity Photo, so I'm just going to type in Affinity Photo. And you can see here there's Affinity Photo, there's Affinity Designer, there's Affinity Publisher, there's different ones. And if you're wondering which one you want, Affinity Photo is like Photoshop. Affinity Designer is like Illustrator. And Affinity Publisher is like, you use it to create brochures and magazines and things like that. So if you're looking for a Photoshop replacement, it's this one here, Affinity Photo. I really like it. I recommend it. I use it. Um, again, you know, it's one of these things where I like paying once and then I'm done. It was $35 and then that's it.
So I hope you guys found that helpful. Check it out if you're interested. I'll put the video that you just saw here in this video, I'll put it down in the description below, the actual link to the Affinity Photo website, so you can check it out for yourself. There's some really, really cool things that they show off. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Have a great day.